All right, on our explainer tonight, we want to talk about the crazy weather patterns that we have seen. Have we seen it before? What is typically the weather at this time? I mean, the weather has been changing so much, sometimes it's hard to remember, right? Okay, so let's begin just by talking about what everybody is saying on social media. So much confusion in the country. It's July and September, um, that sort of thing. The same cold that we've been experiencing. So this is what it typically is, right? July, June, July, and a little bit of August are what we call our winter months. It's cold. September is typically hot and dry, which paves way for the short rain season, um, whose onset begins in October, peaks in November, and then starts to uh, wane off in December, mid-December towards the end, right? Obviously a good Christmas and a good New Year. However, this year things are different. So let's talk about what it usually is, all right? So let's take a look at this map. A lot of the weather in the country, uh, particularly for from July, is controlled by air pressures that are coming from the southern part of the continent. So in June, July, this is what is at play. You have all of these cold air pressures that are coming in from the tip of South Africa, bringing all that cold way into the country. That is June, July, and a little bit of August. And then typically, what happens after that, as we move into the transition month of September, which is where we are, you start to see some warm air pressures that are being moved from the southwest of the continent into the country. That is typically from the Atlantic Ocean. That's usually warm air, and that's what's responsible for the month of September. Now, uh, the hot and, and dry conditions that we experience in September. Nevertheless, because September is that transition month from the cold of July to the rainy season of October, November, it can typically be what the weatherman tells me is yo-yo weather. So it's a little bit cold, it's a little bit hot, as all of these uh, pressures stabilize. So typically what would happen in September is that those cold pressures that have been coming from the south causing the cold in July stabilize, allowing this to be the dominant control pressures that then bring the warmth during the month of September. So what is happening now? Well, we have both of these pressures bringing the air into the country at the same time. So what's happening is the cold one has yet to stabilize. So this warm air that's coming from the southwest, typically from the side of the Atlantic Ocean into the country, still not as dominant as it should be. Now, um, what does that mean then for the country going forward? Well, this is what should happen typically towards mid-month, I'm told it'll get warmer around the 14th of September as those cold pressures stabilize, allowing the warm pressures coming from the southwest of Africa to take control at that moment. As you've noticed, I think, was it yesterday and the day before, it was slightly warmer. Well, we should experience good old September weather somewhere towards the mid of September, that's sometime next week. But also, what can we expect going forward that's into the October, November, December short rain season? Well, this is what we know. We've seen uh, quite a bit of heavy rainfall in western Kenya, in those western Kenya counties, that's these ones over here. The rains that are happening there now will continue into October, November, and rain of somewhere in mid-December. But for the rest of the country, it'll get a little bit dry, and you'll have to wait until mid-October for the onset of the short rains. Now here, which is the western uh, Kenya counties, that is Busia, Vihiga, Kakamega, Bungoma, also uh, those in what was known as the Nyanza region, Kisi, Siaya, Homa Bay, will receive near average rainfall, slightly below average, but the rest of the country that you see here, particularly central Kenya, Nyandara, Kirinyaga, Nyeri, Moranga, and Kiambu, as well as the eastern and northeastern, will receive below average rainfall. So the weatherman is saying, you know, a lot of things have to be adapted, especially for farmers. So what we do know is that it'll get warmer, towards mid-September and that the rains for at least most of the country will begin mid-October and for Western Kenya will continue now into that season and typically wane off around mid-December towards the end when hopefully we should have some sunshine for Christmas and um, the New Year. But this is something that the weatherman also tells me is that 
What you have seen lately, we've had the floods in Baringo. There's been higher than usual rainfall in all of those lakes in the Rift Valley region. And that is from last year, October, November, December into this year. So you've seen rising water levels that's causing the floods. But that we should still continue to experience extreme weather conditions as we have seen that will be characterized by lots of rainfall within a short period of time that causes some damage and some destruction, which is interspersed with dry weather that causes the drought. And we'll continue to see that for a while in the future. Apparently, East Africa will likely um, experience this erratic weather that you see in the country. So this is why it's typically cold. But I'm also told that last year, we did have this yo-yo in September, although it wasn't as cold as it is this year. But this year has been special because we have both of those pressures affecting the weather in this country. That's your weather forecast, and that's my experience.